First up is a little gem from 1962 called Silent Spring by Rachel Carson. This book, which I stumbled upon in a university bookstore back in the day, tells a gripping story about the impact of pesticides, particularly DDT, on our environment. It's been credited with sparking the environmental movement and has profoundly influenced my career and personal choices. Next we have Our Common Future. The 1987 report from the United Nations World Commission on Environment and Development. This book, often overlooked by many sustainability practitioners, is the genesis of what we now call sustainable development. This 400-page report should be the go-to reference for anyone serious about understanding the roots of sustainable development. Third on the list is Cradle to Cradle, Remaking the Way We Make Things by William McDonough and Dr. Michael Braungart. This book, which I had the privilege of being part of during its creation, challenges us to rethink the way we manufacture and recycle products. Despite being over two decades old, its message is still resonant today, making it a must read for anyone interested in the circular economy. Finally, I'd like to recommend a book close to my heart, Real Circularity, co-authored by my friend and colleague Rachel S. Kahn and myself. This book provides a straightforward introduction to sustainability and the circular economy, with practical advice on how to turn concepts into reality. In summary, these four books, Silent Spring, Our Common Future, Cradle to Cradle, and real circularity have the potential to change your life as they have mine. They each offer unique insights into sustainability and the power of knowledge they provide can lead to a more sustainable and fulfilling life. Remember, the power to change lies within you and these books may just be the catalyst you need. Links to these books can be found in the description. And if you found this video helpful, do subscribe to my channel for more sustainability tips and recommendations. Until next time, this is Ken, signing off.